So we're back inside of our Angular application here on the native script side, and we have a modules folder that contains both a login and a profile module. You can imagine that perhaps you're logging into a particular app and then you're able to set up a profile afterwards. And in this video, I want to look at how we can add routing to our application, but more importantly, how we can add lazy loading to that routing because at this point we could define these components in line here inside of the app routing module. But what we'd find is that as our application got bigger, the startup time for our application would also get longer. This is not what we want in a production app. And what we want to do is instead split up our applications into particular modules and only load those modules when necessary. So we can do that by first off defining our app routing module. And this allows us to simply define the routes for route using the native script router module and providing them like so. I'm simply telling Angular to redirect the user to slash login when the application loads. This path of login then loads the children for this particular module. Now what this does is it looks inside of this module for any routes. So we head over to our login routing module, which we've created inside of this modules slash login. And you can see that we have a similar setup. Now for the login route itself, we want to load that login component. We're passing this down the native script router module dot for child like so. So this allows us to add this to our login module and gives us the ability to lazy load our projects. But you'll notice that when we do this, it doesn't actually work. And that's because we need to head back over to our app module and instead add a provider, which provides the ng module factory loader, but instead uses the native script module factory loader. And that comes from the native script angular slash router and also from angular core. So by doing that, it allows us to add lazy loading to our projects. Once we then select a button like this using the route extensions to navigate, you should find that you'll be able to navigate between the different pages using lazy loading. So this video evidently is a bit more advanced as it does make some assumptions about your routing knowledge, but just know that we need to provide this ng module factory loader inside of our app module. And at the same time, when you're defining different routes inside of your app, you want to use load children, load that particular module. Ensure that you then have a hashtag with the name of the module itself. So that's the class name inside of your login module or the module that you're trying to lazy load. Simply then define all the different paths and use the native script router module dot for child to pass this to the actual routing inside of our app. So if you're looking to use lazy loading inside of your native script Angular applications, I hope this has helped. Let me know what you think inside of the comments section below. And don't forget to check out my Patreon over at patreon.com slash Paul Halliday to support the content. Oh, this new crazy mother... <laughs>